All right, guys, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, days three and day four were, I don't want to say uneventful, um, but it was a day to catch up. Uh, day three, McKenna was feeling a little under the weather. So I actually spent a lot of my time editing. I got a lot of videos done, which was good. Uh, good for me, good for you guys. But I kind of want to take this opportunity to reflect on Lima because I'm currently in Cusco. Um, but after McKenna started feeling better, we decided to walk the city just to, I think, get some food. Get some food in there to see if that would make her feel better. And I just wanted to reflect a little bit on the, the architect in the city of Lima. I think a lot of the buildings are very, it's very cool, very um, older, I want to say. And but, but, but aside from the architect, what I really notice about the, the traffic, it's like bumper to bumper traffic. It's like super chaotic. It seems like that they, there, there would be a lane that has two lanes, but they try to force three or four lanes in there. And it's, it's just insane. It's crazy. But, but the, to my surprise, it's like, there's no accidents. There's lots of like honking, but it, if, if they adapted this behavior into the US, there would be so many accidents. So I'm actually in awe of how there is no accidents there. Um, and I also learned that in order to cross the street, you kind of just have to follow the locals. Like, you know how uh, when you get, you have a certain amount of time to walk across the street? In here, in Lima, cars are still going through, even if you're walking. And like I said, it's just nuts. Uh, but after we ate, McKenna started to feel a little better, and we decided to go to uh, Miraflores. Miraflores is, the reason why I went there is because there was a CrossFit gym there. Um, and Miraflores was, it was, it was uh, a little more beautiful than where we were in central Lima. Uh, there's just El Gato cats wandering everywhere, and I just, you guys know I love my cats, so I had, <laughs> had to get some footage of these cats. Uh, but we went to the gym. Unfortunately... They, uh, they didn't want us filming in there, and I, I think it might be because they were a Reebok-affiliated gym, and I, I don't know. I just think if I was to make any money off of them, then there would be – I think Reebok or CrossFit would want a, lo or a royalty just because, like I said, it's Reebok-affiliated. Uh, but after that, we went out to – this restaurant because this whole time I was there I was hearing about ceviche ceviche uh, what I experienced was fish I got it fried just primarily because I wanted it to be on the safe side but what it looked like was fish uh, marinated with uh, pickled onions and lemon it was it was really good uh, and it, it was funny is every time we went out it seemed like it was happy hour every time McKenna would order um, mojito she would always get two because it was too the price one. Uh, but yeah, after that, we uh, decided to call the day. It was more of a recovery day. And then today, day four, like I said, I'm currently in Cusco, but I'll let you guys check out my uh, arrival to Cusco. just touched ground in Cusco and immediately the first thing I do notice is the altitude change it's something I was warned about and I can feel it like it's a little harder to breathe how do you feel I feel short breath so we just got to our hostel this is one of the coolest hostels I've ever been in uh, we did receive some coca leaves which is ah, supposed to help you with the elevation, You're supposed to chew on it and spit it out, coca. So I'm gonna do that. And I'll show you guys around this hostel. I'm gonna try this, see if it helps. So check-in's not until 2 p.m. It's currently 11.30 a.m. and I need some rest. I had about an hour and a half of sleep last night and uh, we've been traveling. It's not my fault. It is definitely our fault. And it was really hot. We've been traveling all morning, um, even though it was only like an hour flight. But uh, the itinerary for Cusco, 
tonight we're gonna go to some city tour. We're probably going to a CrossFit gym tonight. And then we got Machu Picchu tomorrow, and then we're gonna do a Secret Valley. It's like an all-day tour the following day. So Cusco's gonna be really busy, but I'm excited. All right, so we just met a, a couple back at our hostel. One, the guy was from the States, while the girl was Argentinian. Argentine? Argentine. Um, and they told us to try Chifa. I've been seeing Chifa around, and it's this, uh, this Chinese-inspired dish, or type of food, I guess you could say. Peruvian, Peru Chinese. Yeah, that's like what I'm saying, it's Peruvian mixed. mix, or it's Peruvian, but it's inspired by Chinese. Uh, but now we are walking the streets of Cusco, and I have, what I have to say is I love Cusco already. I've, already, I've only been here for a little bit, but uh, the, the town is just so, it's so preserved, it's older, and it's, it's, it's green. I feel like I'm in just like a, a small town, it's beautiful. I got a beanie. Alpaca is really nice. This is alpaca. Alpaca. 